Hi, this is Des from Bobbles and Bubbles, and I'm coming to you today with a little bit about my experience with the Silhouette Portrait. I purchased it recently about two weeks ago. I've been playing with it for that long and playing with the, the Silhouette Studio program for about three weeks. Uh, I wanted to update my antiquated cutting system and uh, play with uh, making planner stickers, scrapbook, uh, layouts and uh, card making. So we'll go into a little bit about some of the things that I've learned about the program, the cutter, and uh, some of the issues I've been having with it as I've been playing with it. So I hope you uh, enjoy this time with me today. I purchased the Silhouette Portrait online on Amazon for under hundred dollars and uh, they have several varieties several sizes available there's the cameo which is the larger silhouette and a curio which cuts more etching so depending on your needs that will determine which um, size you want uh, this is the eight and a half by eleven and uh, what happens is you print out your items first from your, your printer and it shows you registration marks. And hopefully if your uh, silhouette is working properly, it will register, it will, will register these marks and know exactly where to cut. And you have to design in the Silhouette Studio your cut lines for the print and cut objects. And I have imported my work from Photoshop into the Silhouette Studio and uh, designed in the cut marks at that point. So they, the Silhouette um, America does provide um, options for their own designs with their own cut marks that you can import into your program, but I have used the Photoshop um, for my own designs and imported them into the, the software so um, what you need to do first of all is one of the first things that I had trouble with is knowing where to put my paper on the cutting mat. And this cutting mat is very sticky. And uh, if you, if you uh, rub it on your clothes, it'll help get some of the stickiness off. Um, but there's a mark here for eight and a half by 11. And for my full sheet, I put the, the registration box mark on the top. Now it has to line up with the top of this here. It's not down here. You don't want any of this grid showing. So make sure that it's covering the arrow and lining straight up with this edge here. Now that was the first issue that I had in starting this. There's instructions that come with the Silhouette um, machine, but um, they're awful. So you'll need to look for tutorials like these ones to help you out. So. Thank you to whoever um, pointed me in the right direction for this because I didn't know intuitively. So I'm lining it up with my, my little mark here. Can you see that? Okay, say it again. I'm lining the edge of the paper up to this eight and a half by 11 mark here. And then it's going all along this edge here. Okay, now, one of the things you'll have to notice here is there's th several marks here. Now, I've noticed for the most part it will accept my registration when I line it up against this second line. Occasionally, it does take it on this line too, but these two lines here, I noticed that it accepts the registration without failing um, here when I line it up with this mark here. So you want to make sure your rollers cover your paper and accept the um, document. So I'm going to try it right here. And line it right up. And you press this button right here. Okay, next we're going to the computer and we're going to open up our cut settings. We have our red cut lines here. 
We're going to select our white sticker paper. We're going to select a number two ratchet blade. Our speed is three and our thickness is five. And we'll send it to Silhouette. I'm using a flashlight here to help the Silhouette register the black registration marks. A lot of times if it's not light enough outside or if your ink is not black enough it will not read it. So the flashlight helps in these cases. There are a lot of tricks like this that I've noticed people have had to use and I wish that uh, Silhouette America would um, fix this problem because it seems to be universal across the board. Okay, we're going back to our computer. We're going to deselect our red cut lines and select our brown cut lines. And we're going to select the cardstock section. This is for our outer thicker cut lines. We're going to stay on Ratchet Blade 2. We're going to increase the speed to 5 and the thickness 30. This will cut it all the way through the paper and we'll send it to Silhouette. Okay, so how you release the document after it's done cutting is you just press this bottom button here. Release it. Okay, so I'm going to pull the sticker paper off the mat. And in order for this not to curl when I pull it completely off the mat, I need to flip this upside down and this will help. It's not 100%, but it will help. I need to kind of do it upside down. That way. And there you go. Perfect. Okay, so this is the result of my project today. Um, I've been working with uh, making these stickers for the last week or so and have wasted a ton of sticker paper figuring out cut settings, figuring out printer issues, and I love this machine. I love it. It's amazing that a modern machine can do all these intricate cut lines that this machine does. It's so much better than uh, previous things that I have used. However, there is a learning curve. So if you um, want to invest in one of these machines, be prepared to waste a lot of sticker paper, ink, and time. I've worked several hours in the last week and a half just figuring out some of the intricacies and it's still trial and error. Sometimes I'm not sure if it's gonna accept my registration lines. Sometimes I'm not sure if it's gonna cut properly. Maybe I um, didn't put in my cut settings properly or my cut lines were off in my um, designs. So all of these things I'm learning, um, but it is an amazing machine and I definitely give it a thumbs up. So anyway, thanks for uh, hanging out with me for a little while today, and we'll talk to you later. God bless.